How knowledgeable is God? God is omniscient, and omniscience means God has all knowledge. And this means that God not only knows things that could happen, what he could do. He could create this universe with this number of stars compared to another universe with a different amount of stars. He could create you know, these people and pl plant these souls in these specific vessels and bodies as opposed to placing these souls in different vessels and bodies. He is the one who has all knowledge of what could be. He has all knowledge of what will ultimately be. He, f he knows the events of all things because we know from Isaiah, God works out uh, the uh, end from the beginning. Uh, and God knows the beginning fr uh, from the end. God knows all things. He works out everything. And he is the one that has orchestrated everything in such a way as to fulfill his ultimate divine will. Even evil that is done outside of his will, he foreknew all that and he knows exactly what must be permitted and then the times when he must intervene in order to work out a greater good at the end of it all. God knows, not only knows what will happen, which is his foreknowledge, his, his knowledge of knowing what will happen, but God also knows what would happen. God knows what would happen if we were born in a different era under different families. God knows what would happen if we pursue different careers in our current standpoint of life. God knows what would happen if he, uh, if, you know, instead of us being children of the parents we are, if our parents were our children and he just uh, shifted the sequence of that. God, God knows all these different things of what would happen, and that's his middle knowledge. And God also knows ultimately what should happen. He knows, uh, even though everything's working out for his ultimate divine will, there are things that we do that are outside of his will that he makes up for with other people, other resources, whatever it might be that God deems is noteworthy. But God also know, he knows what should happen. He knows if we did something outside of the will of God, he, he knows that this is what should happen have happened. And we will all be able to see that on that final day. It, it says that every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Scripture tells us that uh, every thought will be um, brought forth before God. Nothing will be seen. All will be naked and exposed before him who must, who, to whom we must give an account. We know this from Ecclesiastes 12. We know this from Romans. We know this from uh, other scriptures, I believe in Corinthians as well, and, other, and even in uh, uh, the Gospels. Jesus and the Word declares, and Jesus is the Word, declares that we all will give an account before God. And we know in Revelation, not to those who are unbelievers, but those of us who are believers, once we are in heaven, it says God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Why will he be wiping away tears? Because we will see what should have happened, what we should have done. So God's knowledge is a extremely vast and he he holds it all in an instant in an immutable unchanging instant god has all this knowledge and we know that god from isaiah 57 15 inhabits eternity and he has dwelled in this state forever knowing all things even before they're created he knows them because he is able to foresee and project and he's able to understand and see shadowed realities before things actually become reality for us because we know from ecclesiastes 3:15 i believe it says that which is has already been and what is to be has already been so what is to be for us has already been for god so meditate on that. That is quite astounding. And God is the one who is omniscient. He has all knowledge. Within an instant, he holds it. He knows what could happen, what would happen, what will happen, what should happen, and much more knowledge that we aren't even aware of or we can't even comprehend or understand. And as time goes on, God will continue to reveal uh, that knowledge to us because we know that he knows the number of hairs on our head. He knows uh, he knew us before we were even born. He is the one who knit us in our mother's womb. He he has all knowledge about everything, every single event in every area and aspect. He knows the difference between you watching this video and where I'm at, how the distance of how far we are from each other. He knows all things, and we can just trust and seek God for the knowledge with with understanding how to operate our lives because he is the one who is knowledge himself.